Top of the morning to you. Van Halen coffee mug, motherfuckers. And some high power breakfast after doing a workout just now. Obi's not eating his breakfast. I don't know what's up with that. Anyways, um, probably gonna go down and join the uh, Brandon Tatum March on 3rd Avenue today in Phoenix. I hate Phoenix, but if there's other Trump people there, I'll go. So you guys might be hearing from me later. Pretty unhappy with this. Very, very unhappy the last few days. No bueno. Am I a sore loser? No, I'm not a sore loser. If they win, they win. But how they're trying to win is pretty funky. <laughs> So we first get there, and um, I didn't really know how things were going to go, um, but it turned out to be probably a couple thousand people and extremely nice people. One of my favorite um, channel hosts on YouTube, uh, the Officer Tatum was speaking, and I guess we had walked in and just had met, um, uh, just had missed... Um, Charlie Kirk, his name is. I've seen him, and I was pretty impressed by his content as well. Um, but just met so many great people, and I'll kind of explain how who people are as we're going through. Jeff Blake has no idea. He's a freaking liar. We are going to be I love this guy right here. What you guys need to do? This guy is amazing. What up? Oh, man. <laughs> Me and Jeff are hanging out with Tatum and hundreds of people in Phoenix against the mask, against voter fraud. So last night I noticed in these uh, little YouTube posts, people were commenting, oh, only 50 people showed up. Well, today we're downtown Phoenix. I think we've got more than 50 people. Do you guys mind being on my channel? I have Lock to ask up. legally. Does anybody mind? Lock them up. Look at that. Look at that sign. Look at that sign. That's Phoenix, man. That's Phoenix. Right? Hi, everyone. My name is Scott Taylor, but that really doesn't matter. We're out here today because we want justice. We want fair legal votes. Who knows if we can rewind everything that's been done, but we want fair legal votes and we want justice. We know that the Lord is the one who can give us justice. Would you all bow your heads and just pray with me real quick? Father, good morning. Lord, thank you for the opportunity for everybody to be here. Lord, we're seeking your aid in our country in a way that no other man, woman, or child can do. Father, we know you love justice, and we ask that you would bring it swiftly. Lord, we love you, and we ask all this in Christ's mighty name. Amen. So, yeah, as you can see, it was really pretty special because it's not a mob like you see with the other party, unfortunately. Um, it's really unfortunate that another party would be like that. But it is more of a movement, and a lot of these people, like myself, probably weren't even <clears throat> Republican 10 years ago. And um, there was a prayer said where all of us, you know, kind of bow our heads and took a moment. And um, there was a moment where we sang the national anthem, and we said the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> Things that are so instilled in our uh, country that, you know, are being lost and they really instill tradition. They instill something that gives us the embodiment of a country. One thing that's not being talked about at the Trump rallies is there are beautiful women here. Dude, there's even free Trump t-shirts. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a t-shirt. This is fucking bad. Amen. I want to be on the news. You have to ask the disclaimer. 
So we didn't get oh, yeah. Donald yeah, Trump showing up today, but we have a local resident of Arizona who looks just like him. Twenty twenty, baby. <laughs> the Michigan Wisconsin thing where you guys keeping up to date Beautiful oh, women with flags yeah. that's Arizona James Red Elephant Red Elephant Revenge and it's ran by somebody else just as a technicality but he was crunching all the numbers and he is a very smart individual and he was putting it putting it together I, This is Jeff guitarist extraordinaire talking and it shows that bell curve that parallel uh, bell curve that was that Trump and Biden were on in you know in any normal circumstance in any election really so yeah, it was just cool conversation with so many new people. Um, these are two people that uh, I think we'll definitely be seeing out at shows. Uh, we just, it was crazy because we ended up really chatting with these people thinking they're, the, the, I didn't really realize the guy was dressed as Donald Trump, which is funny. But when he takes his garb off and his mask and everything, he was the most down to earth guy. And these are just two really cool parents conservatives um people that we ran into that i just think embody you know what what the republican the republican race of now is about the republican party of now is about and um it's really about people who truly care about important issues you know they want to see families thrive they want to see everyone around them thrive this is this is not how, you know, when I had grown up as a kid, you know, long-haired rocker kid, you, you know, we couldn't stand <laughs> any of the Republicans. They were very for themselves, you know, um, but uh, just really cool people. And uh, we just met so many other people that were great. So end of the day, uh, Jeff and I stopped by and we uh, grabbed some food at Handlebar in Apache Junction. There were a couple other old timers that had been at the rally that were really cool. And um, as always, Heidi and Jessica were just fabulous um, helping us out and grabbing our food and drinks.